Oh my god, did you just hear? Liza coming back in style. Oh my god, this seems so real that they find you and can find you. So shut your mouth, we've heard it all. Hypocrites and critics all. Can't fuck off, we do this for our souls. Our souls. Over the weekend, a fuckload of insane news has been released regarding the Scott Stapp story. Firstly, according to TMZ, they obtained a report from Madison County Sheriff's Department stating that officers found Stapp on the side of the road on November the 13th, where he appeared wasted, incoherent, and was rambling that someone was trying to poison him. Consequently, the Creed frontman was placed on a 72-hour psych hold. If true, this directly goes against the Creed lead singer's claim of being clean on his public statement videos. Moreover, Stapp's wife Jacqueline has been compiling legal documents after filing for divorce. Within these documents is another bizarre story claiming that Scott left a message with the dean of his children's school on November the 10th, insisting that the school was to become a target of ISIS, and that Scott threatened to kill himself and his AA sponsor. This series of events gets more peculiar story by story. On the same day this news came to light, Stapp released two video statements online. They were briefly on Creed's Facebook page but were taken down. Not before a couple of people grabbed the videos and posted them on YouTube though. The first one is of Stapp at a police station waiting to talk to someone about a report filing, where he gives more details about his struggles. The second video picks up straight after that, and is more focused on addressing his children. Then on Saturday, Stapp's wife had filed legal documents to have her husband committed to a mental facility for 60 days. The storyline is straight out of a soap opera. Finally, today Stapp posted a link to the crowdfunding site Fundly seeking to raise $480,000 for a new album and book. He's currently raised $667 and has 119 more days to reach his total. Right, I think that's everything covered now. I really wouldn't be surprised if this was turned into a film one day. Twist turns left, right and center. I'm sure that more on this story as and when info is revealed. In other news, lots of tours have been announced today. Atreyu have announced they are coming to London for an exclusive and intimate show on April 29th next year at the Underworld venue in London. If you're a fan of the American metal call band, tickets go on sale this Friday, the 5th of December. Hailstorm have announced a UK tour in March next year. The hard rock band will be supported by Nothing More and Wilson on 10 dates. Tickets will go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. Finally, The Used will be touring the UK in February for an 11 date run. The band will return to the British Isles after a three year absence and it's a safe bet they'll be performing material off their latest album, Imaginary Enemy, released earlier this year. And that's all for the news update today. All the relevant links for the stories are in the links below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, rock on! Scat, 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 scat. Damn. I obtained a report from Madison Cun. Oh. <laughs> what was that, Madison? What? <laughs> Let me go for it. Yeah, you go. Bollocks, man, that sentence is so difficult. <laughs> the Sheffield stuff. Sheffield. <laughs> it's because you went to Sheffield last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Emma. Come on, Sam. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, ammo! He's currently raised 666. The number oh. of the beast! Hell! So. Go! Oh, sorry, hang on. Such a moose. Ew! <laughs> we'll just edit this. <laughs>